Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. I am so excited that you showed up today at the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about one of our subjects in QuickBooks Point of Sale and that is going to be how to hold a receipt, why you would hold a receipt, how to unhold a receipt. What in the world is this functionality for? Right? Alright, I'm in QuickBooks Point of Sale here. Before we jump on this, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below if you haven't already. Get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group so that you can join the community. Ask any questions you want about workflows, errors, request a video for this channel. People such as myself and other community members will have a great dialogue with you and we're, we'll just be excited to see you there. <laughs> if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe so you can get all the latest, best QuickBooks Point of Sale videos all right, let's do this. So you're making a sale. This might be you. This might be your employee, your cashier, whoever. Uh, you are going to, you know, choose some of the products that the person is buying. And then suddenly, uh-oh, they forgot something. Oh, hold on. I'll be right back. Your customer says they're, they're going to leave the counter. They're going to go and find that other thing they were thinking about and they forgot about it. So they're going to go find it. They need to grab some socks or I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, uh, you might have customers from time to time who decide, oh, hold on, we're in the middle of a sale, but I forgot to go and grab something. So what do you do? You have other people behind them in line. Those people need to get checked out too. So uh, you may or may not have already put their name on their receipt. Doesn't really matter. But either way, you're going to hit this button right down here that says put on hold and now you are free to check out the next customer and the next customer and the next customer but then that customer comes back up well what are you going to do then they're back up here they're back to the front of the line they're ready to go they got their socks or whatever they grabbed and so you can either go to held receipts right here and find them and uh, with the detail pane over here, uh, there's a button up here where you can show or hide the details so you can see exactly who it is or exactly what the items are. So if you don't have a customer's name on here, you can see what items they were. Uh, it looks like I have, what, six different on hold uh, receipts here to choose from. But my most recent one will be at the top and I can hit unhold and whammo! Here we are, we're back at their receipt and we're ready to add their socks. Let me, let me see, I think I actually have some socks in here. The wonderful black socks. And they're ready to check out and you're ready to take payment. You can, you can go on with their receipt without skipping a beat. The other place I will mention, I'm gonna cancel out. The other place that you can find held receipts is right here on the main screen. You can click held receipts and hit view it'll bring you back to the exact same screen. Now we lost that receipt because I hit cancel and I canceled out of it. Uh, if I had put it back on hold, it would still be here. But that is the other way that you can find your held receipts. So if you're in the middle of a different screen when they come back, you can just head right here. There you go. Now you understand putting receipts on hold for those times when customers leave you and come back. My name's Peter with Black Rock Business. Thanks for coming to the channel today. I hope you have a stupendous day. <laughs> All right, bye.